My scars do not define me. My scars tell my story. And so I really appreciate these scars because they honestly changed my life, not just you know, because of Selena, just me personally. Life came into perspective. I learned a lot. So, I mean, it's not a secret. Um, last year, uh, I had a surgery with one of my best friends, Selena Gomez. Um, I gave my kidney to her. From the minute I said, of course I'll get tested, obviously it was like, you're my best friend, you're my sister, of course. But you know, I wasn't educated on kidney surgery. I felt a lot of peace throughout the whole thing, ironically. There were times that I did panic. When I found out I was a match, it wasn't the way I expected. One day, I got a phone call from Selena, a FaceTime, and she's like, we're a match! And I'm like, ah, yay, what? How do you know this? I had a way that I wanted to tell her when I made the decision. I knew I was gonna happen, I just knew that time. Like, it's, it's a big thing. So I hang up and I call my social worker and I'm angry and she told me, it's gonna be hard. The recipient is gonna glow and she's gonna recover a lot faster than the donor is because she's receiving something she needs. You're losing something you don't need to lose. It's gonna be hard and it was very hard. Selena and I both went through a depression. We both, you know, she, she had some complications with hers and she has bigger scars than, you know, I do that, you know, wasn't expected. I remember getting a text message from Selena saying, I'm so scared, I might die. And I was like, what? And I called, man, I, I was calling someone and that's when she got the complication where the kidney turned and broke an artery and she had to go back in and they actually had to take a vein out of her leg. Um, so she has a scar right here and um, build a wall around her artery, like this whole thing. They inflate your stomach with gas, so it could blow it up, honestly, in order for them to be able to remove the kidney and take them down that trail and take it out like it's a little baby, but it's a kidney. My C-section scar, I call it. Um, I have no feeling, I don't feel a thing, but if I have a C-section later in life when I have a child, now I, you know, I can just be like, there's a spot, guys. Your scars don't define you. It's a part of your story, and it's part of the story that makes you special and you different. Go show it. But right next to it, I have a tattoo. Um, I, people have noticed in certain bathing suit photos that I have it. I don't really talk about it because I was 19 years old. I was in a relationship, and uh, I don't care how in love you think you are. I don't think you should do anything that represents the relationship and I'm gonna get it lasered off. So if anyone's a doctor watching this and you can do that. My mom is the strongest woman I know. Recently we were out and some fans asked for photos of me and she goes, it's cool to see that um, all those drives to dance classes. As a kid, you don't understand. Like, mom, I need to go do this. I have dance class, I have karate class, I have ice skating, I have this. And she literally would just sit in the car. She didn't go home. She sat in the car and waited. She's like, I gained so much weight because all I did was eat fast food. And I would watch my novelas in the car waiting for you guys to be done. And now you're doing all this. And it's like, wow, it does, it does really pay off. Ooh, why am I crying? So yeah, my mom on the back of my neck. The way I keep my body healthy is by exercising a lot. That is my me time. I go to yoga. And like just having that namaste moment is very important. I dance. Um, I actually just started dancing again. Um, I took my first class in surgery on Friday. It was rough for a couple of months because I'm not used to not being active. I'm very active. And we literally had to just wake up and not look forward to doing anything. And that was hard. Um, having people help me take a shower was very humbling. I mean, this might be TMI, but little things like reaching back to wipe, I couldn't do. I couldn't pick up my dog, he's 16 pounds. That was rough, I couldn't walk him. He wouldn't go out with anyone else, so he, just, he would just hold his pee. And sometimes, honestly, the best way to take care of your body, sometimes maybe just walking your dog because your body not only needs to have that activity, but your mind needs to be healthy and that registers to your body. So anything that makes your mind calm down. This last year has been the craziest of my life. Um, I went through huge changes. Um, I moved and then all of a sudden I was donating a kidney. Like what? And then I got on this hit TV show and I have a new boyfriend and I was just, just crazy. But honestly, I don't think I would have been able to handle it as well had I not gone through the storms in my life. And I say storms because think about the weather. What happens when a storm is over? There's a rainbow. 
and the sun comes out and everything's great. So the storms suck, but it's helped me like appreciate my next journey and my next chapter in life. You gotta keep moving forward and you don't have time to look back. You really don't.